In, the, in this example, Ray and Anne are riding bicycles a distance of four kilometers each morning, and they finish at the exact same time, but Anne starts one minute before Ray. And Ray goes a little faster than Anne, one kilometer an hour faster than Anne. Uh, obviously, he has to go a little faster if he starts later, and they cover the same distance, and they finish at the same time. And the question is, at what speed are they traveling? So this sort of question is going to require us to think about the formula that distance equals rate times time. And that formula can be rearranged. So if you wanted to say solve for time, you could divide both sides by r, and you'd have that time is equal to the distance divided by the rate, which makes sense. If you go 100 kilometers and you go at a rate of 20 kilometers an hour, 100 divided by 20 would be five hours to travel that distance. So we're going to need to think about uh, the DRT formula when we're solving this, but let's define our variables, and in this case I'm going to define them with a chart. So we've got two people, we've got Anne and Ray, and we know that we're dealing with distance, and we're dealing with rate, and we're dealing with time, so let's see if we can start to put some variables in. First of all, the distance that they go for both of them is 4. There's no change, there's no difference with that. Anne goes a distance of 4, and so does Ray. But they do it at different rates, or different speeds. So Anne uh, finishes one minute before Ray, but Ray goes faster, so maybe Anne is x, and Ray is one kilometer an hour faster. So this was in kilometers, this is in kilometers per hour. That means this is going to have to be in hours. So the time it takes Anne and the time it takes Ray could be figured out using this part of the DRT formula. You could take their distance and divide it by their rate. And you work out a couple of time equations for each of these people. So we've got Anne. Um, here she is wearing a baseball cap with long flowing hair and she takes this amount of time and we've got Ray also wearing a baseball cap and he takes this amount of time to bike now if I were to say those are equal I'm lying because Ray does this in a shorter amount of time than Anne does it so to make them equal I would actually have to add time to Ray in fact I'd have to add, and this is in hours, I have to add one minute. Alternately, instead of add one in, one, adding one minute to Ray's time, I could take away one minute from Anne's time. Because if Anne takes longer, and I take away one minute from Anne, then I would have two equal equations. So I have a couple of options to figure out where I'm going to add this extra minute in, but I do need to figure out that a minute is only a portion out of 60 minutes, which is an hour. So one minute is really the equivalent of one sixtieth of an hour. And I have to do this change in this case because I'm dealing with minutes difference, but I'm dealing with hours in my table and in my definition. So I'm going to add it to raise time, and I'm going to say, well, Anne's time would equal Ray's time if I added one minute, one sixtieth of an hour, to Ray's time. Now I have to go and solve this. Solving it is coming up with a common denominator, which is x times x plus 1 times 60. So each of these has to multiply by 60 um, times x times x plus 1. And some things will cancel. In the first one, the x's, and the x plus 1's, and then the 60's. And that will leave me with 60 times 4 times x plus 1 equals 4 times 60 times x plus 1 times x times x plus 1, or 240x plus 240 is 240x and x squared plus x, giving myself a little bit more room. I'm trying to get all the algebra to one side, so I'll get the x squared and make the other side equal to 0. So here's my x squared. Uh, subtract 240, subtract 240x's, and so I get plus 1x, and subtract 240. And now I need to try and factor this. 
it indeed factors to x plus 16 times x minus 15, and so I get x values of negative 16 and positive 15. And those x values are their speeds, how quickly they're cycling. So the negative x value would mean that they're going negative 16 kilometers an hour, uh, and that's just not possible. But 15 kilometers an hour for n and 15 plus 1, 16 kilometers an hour for ray certainly seem possible. And that's the question that I need to answer. At what speed are they traveling? So I'll write a sentence that Anne travels at 15 kilometers an hour and Ray travels at 16 kilometers an hour. Okay, we'll see you in class.